everybody, it's Hugh here from Creator Up. Today I want to do a quick tutorial and answer one of my viewer questions. Viewer Justin Joy asked me on Facebook how to create a 3D video uh, but in a flat video style with animation. Uh, basically, uh, what you see the video in Nikon Key Missions video. Um, in the 360 video but you saw it in a 2D video format and also uh, with a lot of like animation video you see uh, some people call this tiny planet animation video um, so in here I'm gonna explain to you how to create that with a free software from Instance 360 Studio okay so um, here is the Instance 360 Studio so I already have this software open and here is a project I'm working on. Uh, I can show you real quick. You see all the animation. So uh, as you see, all the animation is anime with key point, and all this line is animation line. It's pretty straightforward. If you're familiar with After Effect, it it have the same line idea. It's a timer animation uh, with a limitation. So uh, before we even start it, uh, if you are using Nikon Key Mission like I do. Uh, you cannot actually edit the video directly with Instant 360 Studio. The reason why is Instant 360 video only take in 2 by 1 ratio video. Uh, I will demo it for you right now. As you see, I have some video here. So this video I output directly from Nikon Key Mission 360 uh, is 16 by 9 ratio because that is default. Uh, format if you shot in Nikon key mission if you haven't changed the ratio So see my other tutorial how to change the ratio 2 by 1 But if you did not change that you can drag the video in uh, in the 360 studio So uh, what? Sorry, so uh, after you drop uh, drop it into the studio the video still play but play in a flat format as you see There's a black bar on top and the bottom and the panel player and recorder is disabled, so you actually cannot do anything with the video besides viewing them. So, in order to do that, you need to, uh, well, two ways. First, uh, I will strongly suggest just set the setting in your Keymission 360 to turn it into 2 by 1 ratio, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. But if it's too late, you already have your video, you can simply drop it to Premiere. And let me open Premiere and do a quick demo here. So Premiere is open, I create a new project right here. Uh, so the video we have right here, uh, we, this one, uh, if you drop it into the Premiere timeline, uh, as you see here, it's 3A40 by 2160. So it's 16 by 9, it's not 2 by 1 ratio. Uh, you actually need to drop it in the timeline and we output it. So it's an in and out point. Uh, you need to re-output them, so export media. I will go ahead and here, in the preset, well again, it's H.264. So you see here, VR monotopical, so this one, 3A40 by 9020. So that's two by one ratio, pick this one, preset, and then you have the correct uh, width and high ratio. And in here, I will pick uh, you can just leave it as a preset, but I usually just put constant bit weight and make it to 100 to have the best quality possible because still Nikon key mission shot 4K, so I want to preserve as many quality as possible. Click that and go ahead and export that. And with that video, so I already export the version of here. So this is the squad version of this video. So if you open back on the Instant 360 Studio, drop that we output footage in here. And you notice the difference here. First, uh, the panel player and the recorder is enabled again, meaning this video, and actually you see uh, it's actually viewed as a 360 view, meaning that this format is workable inside Instant 360 Studio. So if your Nikon key mission would not work, you can just do this quick fix. Uh, to we output them to two by one ratio and it will work. Uh, okay, so next step, I'm actually gonna use the video I post on uh, Facebook to do a quick demo how to create those uh, nice animation. Okay, that is the video. It's a DJ set. It's a DJ set I shot uh, here, and the Nikon key mission is right here to capture the video. 
So, um, and then the second step is actually go ahead and here and pick recorder right here. If you pick recorder right here, and you can preview the video. So, uh, to in order to make animation, so first thing you can do uh, is right here, uh, magnify glasses, I call it. You can click right here to create a first keyframe. And then uh, the trick of adding animation is always listen to the music. So I will basically listen to the music. And I think here is a great point to insert a next keyframe. So you go ahead and click this again, insert keyframe. And in between the keyframe, you can have animation. So um, let's first pick this keyframe. And I want this video from this point forward. Well, actually, I want the video start as a tiny planet. Actually, it's a black screen. So let me just play and see what it looks like. <laughs> Actually, I lie, I have no animation, just started with the logo. So show some branding. And I think right here, uh, I can have a pretty slow, like 15 second transition. So I insert keeping right here. Um, and then go ahead and turn this into a tiny planet. So if you click this button, we'll turn the entire video easily into tiny planet video style. So I would zoom in. So what I do is basically I scroll my mouse, uh, uh, the scroll arrow, it will zoom in the video. If you pan, you can actually easily pan the video right here. So that is the animation I want. So if you play back, take a look. So we have this smooth transition with the really trippy music, which is amazing. Uh, one thing you notice right here, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. You can see there's the logo right here. How to get rid of that? Because I already embed a logo in my in Premiere and After Effects, so I don't need them to insert a logo. But uh, it's right here. You can turn it off, use bottom logo. But if you have them do that to cover your camera tripod, you can easily use this plugin to insert your logo right here. So it's very, very convenient. You control the size of the logo. Look at that. I'm going to put it bigger and smaller. And then pick your logo right here. So it's very convenient. This feature itself uh, cost probably gonna cost you like hundred bucks uh, if you do that in Mocha VR or you do it in uh, Metal Skybox. But uh, using this video at uh, Instant Three Sixty, it come this feature come with for free. So it's pretty amazing. So uh, I don't need that, so I will turn it off. So the next thing I would do is I will, I look at the animation. And I don't feel I have enough energy. So if you have to click this animation path, you can actually choose that what kind of uh, way to animate. So if you're like familiar with After Effects animation, that's just almost the same thing. So now we have smooth the source, but we can have a squat. So slide inside out. So we go in pretty fast, slow down, and go out pretty fast. Let's check it out. How's it look like? I will pick that. Let's play this part again. Fast. Slow down. I uh, really fast go in and then really slow in the middle and fast out and that is the animation style I want so again if you want to choose a different cup animation style you can pick right here and uh, just like after effect it's actually very convenient to use the next thing I do uh, I will probably listen to the music and find a music change point and insert a keyframe and in here, uh, I will do different kind of animation. And there's a girl dancing here. I really want to zoom into her. Uh, so I will click here again, back to the panel view. I will just pan my mouse to go all the way to her. And I will zoom in a little bit to see her clearly right here. So I want the frame end right here. So go ahead and play it. Actually, I will try to move this keyframe a little bit shorter because I want to really see her line right there. Great, so.
So uh, that's pretty amazing. Uh, and here I will just add some subtle animation because I want people to focus on her dancing. So now we basically flatten the 360 video into 2D video. You can even output that as a 1080p format so you can use it in your regular video from a 360 camera. So, uh, but again, I want to add animation here. So I will insert a keyframe here again and just have some subtle movement like pen right there. I actually I'm gonna pen this way. So in here, I will just have some really smooth panning motion. Take a look. Okay, next thing I want to do is pretty dramatic. Is to hear the music have some dramatic change. So I want to create an inverted tiny planet. So how do you do that? So if you pick, I probably want to put it right here, insert a keyframe. And in here, I click here back to tiny planet mode by the way there's another mode too there's this like crystal ball mode uh, and this all the way zoom in to the front of the camera mode uh, so it's easy for you to like jump into different mode and then and then use your mouse to find the correct position you want so what i want is i want to create a tiny planet but an inverted tiny planet so what you do here is you go into here Two angle and you have a miter on it. Click out. So what it does is just minor the the turning point. So now you can grab your mouse and just turn it like that. Center focus on the girl. But now you see the mixer and and the controller. Everything just inverted become an inverted tiny planet. And that's a pretty good funny view. So let's just play it and see how it look. <laughs> So the animation, uh, I want to actually pick a different animation style. Uh, I want to use really fast go in and slowly fade out. Let's play again. Nice. Uh, that's exactly what I want. So uh, this, I don't want to stay here because it's kind of weird. I just want to create a tunnel effect with the inverted target planet effect and then I want to back to the DJ uh, which is the focus of this video so I'll insert one more keyframe right here click right here back to the regular mode pan to the DJ and I just that Very cool. So you get the idea. Basically, you just keep inserting keyframe uh, and then add different kind of animation from this panel and then pick the animation style and then you can just create an entire video that way. Um, okay, now uh, last thing I want to talk about is output. Again, if you haven't insert a bottom logo, uh, you can put it right here. And then the output format, uh, very unfortunately, um, the output format right now is very limited because again, it's a free software for what it provides. I think it's pretty amazing for it's free. So hopefully in the future, Intent 360 will upgrade their software and allow 4K output or, or less compressed version so we can have a better quality video. For now, I would not, personally, I would not use the output on YouTube because the output is actually pretty compressed uh, as the codec, as a compressed codex. But we actually look great just on a tiny phone screen like on Instagram and Facebook. So what I do is I, I create a 360 video like this one. Video is a 360 video, right? I put it on YouTube so people can view it on a VR goggle. But I want to promote it on my Instagram. So I basically make this like trippy anima animated 2D flat 360 tiny planet video, whatever you call it. Um, and then I post it on Instagram um, and then just drive you back to my uh, YouTube. So that's my tip to how to promote your 360 content on Instagram. Um, so the output format, I will basically pick the highest I can pick is 16 by nine, uh, it's 1080p. And then um, as you see to remove the purple fringer, I'll just, um, I, um, I will move it right here. It's kind of, kind of cool. So the quality wise, I always put the highest possible, just super, super in here. Um, and just, but even that, the video is pretty compressed, unfortunately. So again, um, pick the place you want to output and then go ahead and hit 
export and then you upload the video on Facebook or on Instagram. So thanks for watching this video. Hope, hope this video served the like solved the mystery of the video you saw on the internet now how to actually create a flat 360 video onto a regular video and create this trippy animation. So again, uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel, Create that up if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.